Okay, so at this point, let's copy our data set and then let's transfer it to Minitab. And now it is clear that we do have this in Minitab. We do have both old system data for certain fire observations. And we start collecting uh, observations after the old system. Well, the new system starts with the 26 subgroup. Uh, and then we do have that here. Um, okay. All right, so if you go to stat again, uh, go to uh, control charts, variable charts for subgroups. Um, since we do have a subgroup size of five, which is less than nine, nine is a threshold, we use export our chart. If we have a subgroup size of uh, a number 10 or larger, then we would have to use export and S chart. So let's click export and R chart. Uh, it's important for us to know uh, that um, we know the structure of our data. We know that each subgroup is listed in one row. Therefore, we select the second one where it says observations for a subgroup are in one row of columns. And you see that it gives the option to select your observations here, 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 and here. Well, um, remember the whole purpose of this video is to show you how we tell Minitab um, which data belongs to old system, which data belongs to new system, right? Or new process or old process. Um, that's where we store our data. So we store our data is, uh, is uh, we store our data in, under column C3, C7, right? Under the stage column. Uh, but where to enter this information in Minitab? So it is under explore our options. And if you go to stages, it gives you the option to select your stage column. And it comes with three different uh, uh, selections. We are going to use the second one, it says with each new value. So what MinTab does is it's going to calculate the upper control limit, the lower control limit, and it calculates the means and ranges uh, for each uh, new value that it sees under column C7. And come to column C7, we see our new system versus old system. A different way that you can do this is uh, selecting num number three, where it says with the first occurrence of these values. And these values can be a custom value, right? So you can still select a uh, column stage, but you could have different values here, right? Other than just one, two, three different stages we might have five, six, seven, eight, or maybe even 10 stages. Um, that's something that you know, people always do because remember it is continuous improvement. You continuously improve your processes and you might be stamping those stages by using different labels. Um, but in this case, we have only two. So we select uh, the second option and we hit okay and we hit okay. And we let the mini tab does its trick. So let me highlight this um, graph area. And let's talk very briefly over the graph and what we see here. So this is explore our chart. So mini tab gave us the sample mean. Remember these blue dots on this first chart on the top are the, the mean of uh, mean of the you know subgroups that you know we had in the old system and in the new system. So you see this dash vertical line, Minitab made sure that um, it portrayed the new system right after the old system, but this time with updated upper control limit and updated lower control limit. You see compared to uh, the old system, the lower control limit value uh, is lower and also the upper control limit value is lower here. Uh, an important observation, no, um, Although there's uh, no a point exceeding the lower control limit or upper control limit, uh, we can see that uh, in the new system, um, the variation got reduced um, in, uh, certain, you know, by certain amount because we do see that the upper control limit is getting closer to the lower control limit. Um, and then you see that there are very few variation in the new system compared to the old system. And we can say the same thing for the sample ranges. And here on the second graph, um, you know, same observations can be concluded for, for the 
for the ranges. Um, so we do see that uh, lower control limit stays at zero and upper control limit got reduced to 18.40. Uh, it was around 24 in the previous old system. Uh, this is a good sign. It means that my variation got reduced uh, by a certain amount. So it looks like the new, uh, newly proposed system is working out for us. Um, everything is good. We will keep monitoring the data and then we will see, and we will try to make sure that you know, everything is under system process control. Okay, so these are the powerful observations that you can have by using new tabs uh, control charts. Um, you could use a very similar approach. If you have multiple different processes in P chart, in C chart, in U chart as well. Um, so this is a just nice and visual way of detecting uh, the impact of the processes that you made. Um, and Six Sigma's uh, control, control phase um, is a great way of uh, monitoring and evaluating and assessing the impact of the newly proposed solutions that you adopted in your system. This is just a great, nice visual tool that could be used um, by Metabs. 